So today, guys, we're going over intro to Daily Heva Guard, the basics of Daily Heva, a few basic sweeps, and kind of the concept behind it, right? Uh, Daily Heva is more of an open kind of guard. It's not one where we have total control off the bat, right? We usually are focusing when our partner's on their feet and we're down, we're focused on getting control of them somehow, whether it's from closed guard, half guard, anything like that. But there's this, when there's distance between us, it can be sometimes hard, obviously, to get closed guard especially. I can't just throw my hips up high and catch them. It's not hard to catch a foot or anything like that. From the beginning here, when I'm sitting and he's up, I'm focused on getting control of his sleeves and his hands. I want to control his hands. He wants to control my feet, right? So when we start here, a lot of times we're sitting, starting like this. My feet are together. My hands protecting my feet. If I'm starting like this, he's got an easy access to my feet before I can get grips on his hands. And he'll throw me back. Now I'm not mobile. He'll pass to the side. That's a bad day for me, right? So we start a little bit in here. Punch forward. Right? If he starts trying to push me back or anything like that, I've got a hand to base if I need to. I can always throw back. I've got one hand to protect me. With these hands protecting my feet, as he goes to my feet, they're my grips. These are what I start to grab with. Right? So assuming I can get grips from down here, right, one or both, if you want to set in a daily heave guard, it's going to be about keeping one grip and trying to attach my legs to his opposite leg. That's my goal. We can do it on the same side, but it's not going to be as secure. Right? This is the grip I really want if I'm going to be getting daily heave on this leg. So once I have that grip, I can release this other one if I need to. I need to scoop my hips. If both my hands are on his sleeves, it can sometimes be tough to scoop my hips. It's a little awkward, a little slow. So we're going to base just one hand onto the mat, throw my hips to the side. I want to get towards, almost like I'm sitting on his foot over here. I'm going to hook my foot around his leg. My toes go up to his inner thigh, right in here, right? My free hand controls the ankle. Opposite foot, my other free foot, is going to be right on his thigh up here. Not really on the knee, more the thigh area, right? This is my basic daily heave guard. I've got the leg control here, right? I've got foot control to keep spacing so I can push him. I can pull him with my other leg. Sleeve can help pull as well. This sleeve is nice for me because one of the things he wants to start doing is pushing and stuffing my foot down in the middle, right? Stuffing it down here, stepping around. If I control this arm, that's one less thing I have to worry about. Another thing I want to do here is I don't want him to be able to square his hips. One of the things I do to, uh, to keep him from doing that is using this knee in here. I can turn this knee in to turn his knee towards the inside. If his knee's pointing out, he's strong and my hook is weak. If his knee gets turned in, I'm strong and he's weak. This is a game here. He's always trying to get his knee turned out to start passing, break my hook. I'm always trying to keep his knee turned in. So again, just the base getting in there. We're in here, right? Controlling, fighting for grips. We get a grip. I see the leg I want. Hand on the mat. Scoot around. Catch that foot on the inner thigh. Grab the ankle. Foot on the hip. Now you can try and give a little bit of pressure. Sort of pull the ankle and turn your knee in right here. We call this our short daily heave hook, right? So first sweep we're going to go for today is a little odd because we have this sleeve. And this is the sleeve we really want. But sometimes he breaks this grip. Right? Boom. Breaks the grip. It's hard for me now to get that sleeve again because his arm's going to be pulled back. He can hide it away. That's going to be tough for me. But this arm is always really accessible. We're going to control this sleeve now. We switched. Give a little pull. Now, I'm going to take my foot that was on that daily heave hook. I'm going to place it on his hip. Right up in here. My heel to the inside. Right? So I move from here. Boom. Right here. My other foot's going to hook behind the knee or behind the ankle if you've got nice long legs. I'm going to give a little pull with this ankle, push with my foot, and keep his ankle pinned right here towards me. So I'm going to give a pull and a push. But if I stay down here, after I sweep him, he's going to come back up or right back where we were. I need to use his momentum as he falls to lift myself up. All right? So we're in here. We've got daily heva. Foot on the hip. Hook. Push. Up. A lot of times we're going to end up sort of in a half guard here. It's all right. You can either buckle down and come back low to get sturdy and secure, or you start fighting for underhooks to start knee cutting and getting in tight. So again, we'll start down here fighting. We get grips, release, hook in here. You get that hook, control his posture. Right? I don't want him squared up to me, so I'm going to give a push with this foot here to make him back up. He breaks his grip. Boom. I re-grip, foot on the hip, other foot 
comes inside, give a kick, obviously not stomping here, just a push with that foot, keep his ankle near me, lift myself up. And now we get in close and buckle down. One more time. Start in here, hand on the mat, rotate in, hook the ankle. He's starting to turn towards me, I don't want that. I'm gonna give a push with this foot on his thigh, get him turned, oh, he broke his grip. Regrip. We're sitting in here, foot on the hip, other foot underneath, push up. Use that sleeve to help pull you up. Get in close. Everyone got it? Pretty simple. Yeah. All right, let's grab a partner. Let's go for it. One, two. Uh, back on.